Hello guys, Matthew here and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. In effort to keep up with introductions of AMD's Polaris based graphics cards so I can give you as much as information as possible, today I'll be taking a look at the Asus RX 460 Strix model. Right on the front you can see a picture of the card itself, surrounded by Strix and ROG logo left and right, while on the bottom you can see a mention of the Aura RGB lighting feature and a World of Warship invite code for a 15 day premium account trial. Going to the back you'll see a brief overview of the card's features like the direct CU2 cooler design, improved board components and so on, as well as a list of basic specifications and a picture of the video output layout. Opening out the box in it, for the bundle for some reason you'll get a couple of velcro straps and your usual quick start guide, optical disc with drivers and software and the aforementioned World of Warship voucher. And here's the graphics card itself. Asus Strix series of graphics cards and coolers which are associated with them is probably one of the most known on the market next to the MSI's Twin Frozer and Gigabyte's WinForce series. Its design is easy to recognize on the spot and with the RX 460 Strix model that isn't any different. Aesthetics wise it will hit the right spot for majority of users, it's not too tacky, all of these stickers look kinda cheap but the cool RGB ROG logo cancels them out. Since the RX 460 isn't a high TDP graphics card, the cooler on it doesn't need to be that beefy. Underneath those two 75mm fans and plastic outer shell you will find a pretty thin aluminum heatsink which basically covers the whole length of the PCB and which is making contact with the most important components that need cooling. It also comes with two nickel plated copper heat pipes which are in direct contact with the GPU while the power design has its own small passive heatsink on the front. Unfortunately this model has no backplate but that was kinda expected considering the lower segment it falls into. In terms of other important bits, on the back end of the card you will find one 6-pin PCI Express power connector and right next to it a 4-pin PWM fan connector for the ASUS Fan Connect feature which lets you connect an additional system fan to it, let's say for example one fan that's blowing over the graphics card for additional cold air circulation so it can be controlled based on the GPU temperature. Last but not the least, for video outputs you'll get one display port, one HDMI and one DVI-D. Taking the card for a spin, the RX 460 turned out to be a pretty average overclocker, reaching about 80 MHz more compared to the stock GPU core clock speed and around 150 MHz more on the video memory. Although this is not an impressive result, it's still a free performance booster and for achieving that I've used the Asus GPU Tweak 2 software, which is basically something along the line of the MSI's Afterburner and the Sapphire's Tri-XX utility. Speaking of the performance, as with my first AMD RX 460 experience, that being the Sapphire's Nitro version, this series is capable of decently running games at 1080p with medium to high settings. Anything else about that will be hard on the RX 460 since it doesn't have that kind of horsepower as it only carries 896 stream units.
Taking a look at the temperatures, although the Strix Edition cooler utilizes 0 dB 0 RPM fan mode, the card was still surprisingly cold in idle, around 30 to 35 degrees Celsius. Load temperatures under Fermax stress test were roaming anywhere from 65 to 70 degrees Celsius, which was the maximal target temperature and with fans running at pretty steep 2100 RPMs, making the card decently loud. Unfortunately, the noise profile was pretty much the same even when playing games, as you can see it here, fans again running at around 2100 RPMs, while GPU temperature being just below 65 degrees Celsius mark. There's definitely some room for you to tone down the aggressive fan profile so you can get a bit more quiet experience. Beside Asus GPU Tweak 2 software which lets you monitor stats and tweak your common settings seen on other similar third-party programs, the RX 460 Strix also comes with Aura software for controlling the RGB lighting of the ROG logo, its color and lighting style, different effects in glowing patterns and so on. That's it guys for this time from me, thank you once again for checking out the unboxing and review of the Asus RX 460 Strix graphics card. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, it helps me a lot, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product, and of course, if you would like to see more content like this, you can subscribe to the Tactic YouTube channel, or you can just check out some of my other videos from before.